everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, for today's video, I have two things planned. One, I want to do my makeup organization um, video, I guess. Um, I did film like how I did it, but it was literally like 50 minutes long. And I did not want to edit that. But I'm just going to show you guys everything that I'm keeping. And then everything that I... Like how... I guess I sectioned everything off. Then... I have a unboxing video. Um, that I want to show you guys. Um, this video is has nothing to do with Ray Dunn. I know. Surprising. Trust me, I'm a little surprised too. Um, it's a three drawer um, organizer. So basically I have a, just like a shelving up here. Um, so I'm gonna go through what everything is. I'm gonna start with what's on top. So you guys can see what I have on the top. Um, basically what I have is just my um, everyday makeup bag. So if you guys want to see what is in here, um, let me know in the comments and I will let y'all in on what's in here because there's some good stuff in there. Um, then I just have this little, um, bracelet that I don't want to lose. Um, also I have my, okay, this is already done. But this is it. This is all that I that I'm mentioning right on. Um, this is mine and our dumb buddies ISOs. That's it. And then I just have my 2018-2019 um, planner, which I need to write in. And then I just have my then I just have my MacBook on top. So I don't lose it, because y'all know I probably lose it. So this is my very full, um, very heavy eyeshadow drawer. I literally have tons of eyeshadows. Um, I have Too Faced. I have. Urban Decay, um, I have Wet n Wild, I have some Lorac, Lorac, whatever, um, I have some Lashes, I have some Stila, some NYX, I have some Eyebrow Stuff, um, I have some Mascara, and I have some Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture and then I have my Morphe palettes on the bottom I have my James Charles palette all the way on the bottom and then I have my Jaclyn Hill and my James Charles don't know if you guys can see that because it's black on black. So, those palettes are down there. This palette is literally my favorite palette that I have ever owned. You guys need to see this. This is the Tarte Foil Finger Paint Eyeshadow Palette. So, moving on to the second drawer, I have my entire, my entire face drawer in here. Okay, so I have my primers, my foundations, my concealers, my bronzers, highlighters, blush, setting sprays, I have some... Um, little testers that I never used. Um, I also have some um, foundation that I've never used before. Well, I've used this, but it's like a different shade. 
than what I've used. Um, this I have never used before. But I'm so excited to use it. And I was so excited that she came out with it again. Because, like, I literally beat myself up for it that I did not buy it. So, yep. I also have some um, brush cleaners in here that was on sale at Ulta. So, got those. I have my Fenty Beauty, um, my Tarte, some... Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills so I have some foundations I have some concealers I have my Tarte um, stick foundation I have makeup forever ultra HD um, they actually sent this to me um, I don't know why they just did I have my NYX gotcha covered concealer the last and the final drawer we have is my lippy and extra palette drawer, basically. So I have some um, Glam Glow bubble sheet masks that I have yet to use, which I want to use. And if you've used these, let me know and let me know what you think because... I'm curious and I want to know because I think they're pretty freaking cool. So yeah, let me know. Then I have my Manny um, Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag um, eyeshadow palette. Um, and then I have just the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe um, The Vault Collection um, in here. Because this thing would literally bust down Tatiana on everything. So I kind of had to separate it so it wouldn't come crashing down on everything. So this is literally my lip crack in here. But my favorite, my favorite two lipsticks, which actually my favorite three is my the high end is the MAC um, Nicki Minaj the pink print um, lipstick I am obsessed with this I am just obsessed with her in general so yeah and then I have the MAC um, Honey Love lipstick, which I've gotten three of these already. So, that just shows how obsessed I am. Um, and then is, this is the NYX, um, if I could talk, I'd love that. Um, the NYX Butter Gloss, um, in the shade Eclair. This stuff is amazing. I love it. It smells so good. If I'm crooked, I'm sorry. But hashtag sorry, not sorry. Alright, so the unboxing that I am doing is from... So this is my Grove Collaborative um unboxing and I've never done this but we um we just subscribed last month or like we just we got one box before this one and it was like our biggest one so yeah um but I'm so excited to see what we got um, I got, I got some stuff and I saw a YouTuber that I watch, um, she actually does, she actually, um, 
to get stuff from them and she had uh, mentioned something that she gets from them that she is like obsessed with so I will be mentioning that in this video because I told my mom to get it and she got it so I'm just gonna jump into it because I don't want to make um, because I don't want to make this video any longer than it already is. Also, if you can hear the dog in the background, it's not my fault. So, I'm just going to grab. I have the box right here. I'm just going to grab and we're just going to see what happens. So, the first thing that I see is the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Lavender Scent um glass cleaner i love mrs myers love their stuff oh that smells good i can't wait to clean with this i went on a cleaning spree yesterday i cleaned everything so um this this stuff we use all the time love it we have not bought in dish soap in probably like three months this stuff lasts us a long time so this is the mrs. Myers clean day dish soap um I think it's the geranium scent this stuff smells good All right and then we just got some more sponges because we running out. Oh. This is a sponge saver. How does that work? Oh. So you sit your sponge. And it sits off the counter. That's genius. Alright, so this is, um, oh, cinnamon bar soap. Oh my god, that smells like fall. Yes. So this is a cinnamon bar of soap made with organic coconut and olive oils. Okay. So this is what I was talking about um, that I was that I told my mom to get that um, the YouTuber that I watch she has in her kitchen that she uses all the time. So it is the Bubble Up Soap Dispenser and Dish Brush Set. So I'm going to set it up and then I'll show you what it looks like. So cute and it looks like Ray Dunn. That's what it looks like. So you take this out and then you just put your soap on the bottom like Hold on. Um okay. So like say I'm putting this soap. So I put the soap on the bottom. And then I put this thing back in. And then all you would do is you put the brush in, push down, and you have a soapy brush. And then you just wash your dishes. And then you put it back on the thing and it just sits on your sits in your sink. That is so freaking cute. I love this. Love it. Alright, so the last two things are actually for me, and they are some skincare things, because as you can see, my skin is fricked up. So, um, I got the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin um, Daily Clarifying Cleanser, um, Yes to Tomatoes and Watermelon to help keep skin clean um so this actually helps to keep combination and acne prone skin balanced and clean 
So this is just what it looks like. I'm sorry if this is like, I think it's because I'm in front of my window and it's so like bright out, but um, this is just what it looks like. Um, I'm going to try this out and I will let you guys know um, when I do my next Grove unboxing video if I actually like this because I'm actually going to try it out tonight because I washed my skin last night and my skin still feels disgusting so hopefully, hopefully this will help my skin kind of feel cleaner but then I got this because correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure um witch hazel I think it's witch hazel um is actually really 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 good for your skin and it actually clears up your skin like completely so I don't know but I got the Thayer's Natural Remedies Witch Hazel um, Aloe Vera Formula Toner in Rose Petal. So I'm going to try these two together and I'm going to see what it does to my skin. Um, I don't think I have sensitive skin. I mean, my cheeks do get rosy, but I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more Grove Collaborative and makeup videos. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!